Okay, so in this video we're finding the gradient again, but this time we're using the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, again, this is revision, so you shouldn't be having too much trouble with this stuff, but we will run through an example here. Uh, you can see that I have a straight line, just like before, and we have two points on that line. One of the points is 3, 5, and the other point is negative 1, negative 1. Now, in order to use this formula, you're going to have to name your points, point 1 and point 2. It doesn't matter which one you call point 1 and point 2, but it's a really good idea to write it down. So I'm going to call this one point 1, and I'm going to call this one point 2. Now, in point 2, you have your x value, which we can call x2. And you have your y value, which we can call y2. And in point 1, you have your x value, which we can call x1. And you have your y value, which we can call y1. Now, once you've set this up, you really just need to put it into your formula. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, y2 is this over here, point 2, the y value is 5, minus y1. Now, we're going to put in y1, which is negative 1. So this is going to be 5 minus minus 1, over x2, which is 3. Now, you can see that x1 is minus 1, so again, it's going to be minus minus 1. Now, 5 minus minus 1, you can type that directly into your calculator, or you should be able to realise that that's 5 plus 1 over 3 plus 1. Now, that's going to be equal to 6 over 4, which again can simplify into 3 over 2. So, the gradient for this particular line, using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, is 3 over 2.